huge perch, buddy. <laughs> Big perch on the crankbait. Nice one. Oh, I got a bass. You got a little largey, but he's a baby. <laughs> they like that he's thing, a bass. Buddy. Got one. It's something. Get the net. Oh, never mind. It's a huge bluegill. Nice. Oh, yeah. Man, everything's hitting that thing. Nice, buddy. I actually hooked them good, too. <laughs> Crankbaits for everything this morning. Cool. Nice All right, guys. It's a super overcast morning, and we're out here in Ontario, Canada, and we're testing out the Guggen crankbaits. Me and Colton both have different varieties. We got some wind this morning, and uh, the weather is not cooperating as much as we would like, but we're still having fun out here. So far, it's four to one <laughs> as far as catches with these new Guggen crankbaits. These are real nice. Colton's got one that's like a square bill, kind of a fatter crankbait, and mine's like a longer thinner one um they don't have the names on them do they no nah. his yeah. says it drops to about two to five feet mine goes three to five feet so um i'm gonna put the names up on the screen of these guys but yeah that's what we're doing this morning guys we're testing these crankbaits out uh we're gonna see if we can get some big bass on these that's what we're really going after so stay tuned guys we'll see if we can catch some good ones yeah nice slow retrieve is all we're looking to do oh that hit got him oh my gosh. Right after doing the intro, first cast after the intro. Oh, he's a he's, he's a big taking one? me down in there. Yeah, hopefully he won't pop off. He's taking me down the weeds. Real good bass. Try to pull him up out of these weeds here. Where this is, is why you use braid. Oh, there he is. This is why you use braid because they're gonna bury themselves in the weeds from time to time. He's a so nice one too, huh? Yep. He's going under the boat, guys. I got a real big bass. I can see him. <laughs> he's up, I think he's, I he's burying himself down in these weeds here. Dude. He does not want to come up. Um, uh oh, he is really buried this time. Come on. Here he comes. Ooh. Here he comes. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to pull him up. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's a beast. Ah, uh, these Guggen crankbaits are working great, guys. Oh, my God. That's a nice <laughs> Nice one. Look at that. What is that? Oh, like yeah, guys. Maybe? I don't know. He's probably a three. I'm thinking a three, maybe. I'm Good, and, right now. Good and right away. Get that treble hook out of the net. It's always the problem with treble hooks, guys, but uh, there's a beauty right there. Nice yeah. one. Point Not too seven. bad. Two pounds, seven ounces. That That's a beauty. That's a nice fish. On the little Guggen crank there, guys. So, all right, cool, buddy. So we are allowed to keep a few bass. We're only keeping two per day up here. And uh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Don't Didn't know why. It. Well, you got another fish in there already. We got a nice big perch pole caught. He's a lot so, bigger than the bass. Sweet. <laughs> Let's cut some more. Okay. Just hitting this edge and reeling it nice, slow retrieve back to us, man. The action on these googies is awesome. Just kind of wiggles as it goes through the water, triggering the bite. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, another good perch. Oh, watch those hooks. We're catching more than bass, guys. We're catching all kinds of different fish this morning. We're catching bluegill and everything on these things, surprisingly. It's just one of those mornings, everything's biting. Weeds aren't too bad out here. I mean, there's there's weeds. It's probably hard to see in the GoPro, but nothing where you can't cast these crankbaits. That's why it's real nice this time of year to try these out. So we're in a real nice area right here. Spot lock. Oh, my gosh. I got a huge perch. Holy oh. cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the camera was facing the wrong direction. Big perch on the Guggen squad. We'll take it. Perch are delicious. We'll keep a few of these guys for the live well. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the water here. You can see that action. Go back and forth a few times so you guys can see it. Catches the weeds obviously a little bit, but nothing that can't cut through the weeds. So just a real nice swimming action on that crankbait. 
This is the one Colton's got. He's got some fish falling on already, but he's getting down a few feet. Uh, these are shallow running crankbaits. They're really not that deep. Um, like I said, we got a barrel swivel on to hold them on, which adds a slight bit of weight. They both float. They both stay right on the surface until you reel, um, and then they go down. I would say both of these are going, what do you say, maybe two feet at the most? Mm -hmm. They're marked like three to five. I think if you were to let a ton of line out and troll them, you'd probably get down maybe four to five feet. But generally, we're only going one to two feet deep, which is perfect in this water. This is only about four feet right here, um, and just full of weeds and a lot of different plants in here that the bass are hiding in. So this is absolutely perfect. Oh, seems to hit the water. Yeah, Come is it? Come here. A little bass, I think. This is a bolt flipper. He's small. Oh yeah, it's a bass, though. Okay. Yep, small one that time. Actually, I think I just snagged him on the side <laughs> when he hit it. Oh, yeah. you got something? He's I not see that him. big. I see him flipping. He's a big perch. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's a monster. Get him in, buddy. Nice. Oh. Hoo -hoo. And he's off. Easy. That's a huge perch. It's going to be easy release. That's a perch for the well. live well. Another real nice that's a good perch. big one. Cool, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely are going to keep a few of the nice big jack perch that we catch. Yep, I'm going over some rocks, a little mix of rocks and leaves. And... It's it. Oh, pike, pike, huge okay. pike. Okay. Holy cow, I wasn't even looking. Okay. He's right here. Colton's on with he's a, a pike. He's in the weeds, he's in the weeds. He's huge. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Pull him out real slow. Oh, I think it's a bass. No, isn't it's it? a big pike. Is it? Huge pike. <laughs> I see him. Got him for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Watch oh out gosh, for the hooks. Watch pipe. out for the hooks. I just a pipe. Oh nice. I got this huge pike. Let's go. <laughs> Colton oh caught a nice pike. You know what I was looking at the oh, whole time? Oh, yeah. You know what I was doing? Buddy, I was I'm a the googan. I was looking at the birds and Ooh. the nothing. I looked Look over that. and the mouth went um, right at me. Look at that, guys. That's I'm the nice googan pike. squad crankbait. Show me that crankbait again, buddy. Guys, we were having an awesome time this morning. He literally just caught a big jack perch and before that bass and now this nice northern and we're going to keep that one because that's probably a mid 20 incher and it's a perfect eater size and we're definitely wanting to keep a couple up here so beautiful beautiful oh fish man God. so it's a good size treble hook it's all tangled up right now of course but they're good size treble hooks so you're not going to probably lose you know bigger fish like this big bass big pike and this is why you get spot lock it's fun. For when there's chaos. Well, guys, we got the boat spot locked right now in a real good spot here. Um, where we got rocks and lily pads and all kinds of stuff all around us right now. So, perfect spot to catch pretty much anything. And we're just going to sit here for a little while and cast all around the whole boat and see what we can catch. So, bass, pike, perch, we're hitting everything right now on these Guggen Squad crankbaits. I think we both got 30 pound braid on. Um, these are bass rods you know set up for bass so the good braid casts really nice and gets the baits out real far in fact i just caught a nice perch right now as i was talking <laughs> nice big jack perch on that googan squad right there look at that so that's another nice big perch oh colton's got a good one is he on stuff <laughs> gotta back up so i can get him yeah, he's oh, big. oh, he just popped. He was not big. Yeah, another pike, another pike out in there, but uh, took him down in the weeds a little bit, popped him off. Oh, another good one. Get him in. Sweet. That's a big old jack perch. Just perching this morning, man. We're trying to catch bass, and we're catching pike and perch and everything on these crankbaits. Yep. Nice. Always got to watch these hooks or throw it overboard. Nice big old perch going in the box. Oh. 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 Yeah. What is he? I don't know. But it's running. Camera's on. 
We got a big one on, but he buried us in the weeds. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, oh. What is it? It's a bass? Yeah. Holy crap, I thought it was a pike. <laughs> that one did not want to cooperate. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. Yeah. Guys, oh. Well, he buried us in the weeds. <laughs> that's a tanker. Look at that one. Woo <laughs> that's another uh, two and a half maybe. Yeah, two, two and a half probably. Good one, real good one. Awesome fish. Okay, that's a decent fish. What do we got? 210. 210. Bigger than your last one. Yeah, a little over, little over two and a half pounds. So, yep. 210, nice. Love these Guggen Squad crankbaits, man. Just love these Guggen Squad crankbaits. Awesome fish. Another perch? Get a bass? Oh, that's a huge perch, buddy. Sweet. Wow, that's another big one. Holy crap. Cool. Good size treble hooks on these. Man, good size treble hooks on these Googans. You want again? Yeah. <laughs> the next cast. Is it another perch? I think you're in a school. Oh, it popped off. Man, that was another one. Like the very next cast, he's on again. I'm going, I'm casting by you. <laughs> right up between the islands. And the lily pads. Perfect spot. Oh! Get the camera. Yep. <laughs> what is this thing? A bass. Not big. I think I can flip him. Oh no! Get up here. Oh, I got one too. Oh, I got a bass. Oh. Doubled up. Guys, <laughs> it's one after another. Oh, and Colton's got one too. Get mine in there too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There you go. We are, it's like one after another. I mean, these aren't big, but oh my gosh, are they fun. So there's mine again. And that's Colton's right there. Man, too much fun. These guys are going back. That's a beautiful little bass. Nice fish, guys. These guys are... Smaller bass, so they're going back. Wait, wait. Oh, Colton's got his too. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Way too much fun with the Googans. All right, guys, we're having a great time. We only got probably a few more minutes to throw these in. Uh, we got to get back to the dock and get some other things done for the day and meet up with family. But we're having a great time. You guys probably already know what we're going to say about these crankbaits. Um, it's just been one fish after another this morning. This lake is definitely just infested with bass and pike. Perch are kind of spotty, but we got on them this morning too, uh, which is awesome. So we got some real nice ones in the box. But uh, actually I'll show you the box before we go. A couple nice big pike and a bunch of perch over here. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get back guys. We're gonna go a little more in depth um, into these crankbaits and I'm gonna talk a little more about them and give you guys some more information as far as price and everything else and the actual model names of the ones that we're using. So. Stick with us, guys, and uh, we'll be back in a few. Got a little pike. Got a little pike on this time, guys. He is down in those weeds. I don't want him to come up. Nice. Okay, we got him. Another pike on the crankbait. Nice. Not a bad size one, a little one. Nope. Cool. Yeah, not a bad size one there, guys. That's actually a little eater pike right there. Um, probably 20 inches. Real nice. He's, he's actually got some... Uh, fin damage here i don't know what happened to this guy but he's gonna go in the live hole too and colton's on right now <laughs> so i better get him in i'll get the net for you oh yeah that's a huge jack that might be the biggest one of the morning man right after the pike right after the pike and a bass and then a perch <laughs> nice one that's a real nice beast perch colton <laughs> good one buddy all right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning. Let's go back. Let's review these crankbaits. We had way too much fun this morning. Yeah. We're heading back to the dock, and we'll let you know what we think. Where's your pike? Where is it? Right there. <laughs> How many inches is it? 20 inches. 
28 and Colton caught the biggest pike, 28 inches. There's mine. I don't know what he is. He's probably only 20. A couple big largies. We got a crappy from last night. Nice crappy. And a bunch of perch. Some decent sized ones. So yeah, it was a good morning. All right, guys, we are in off the water. As you can see, the boat is in. It's covered up because we're inside in the hurricane burl. Remnants are right on us now. Even in Canada, this moved right up and we are in the middle of it here yeah that's what our screen looks like right now so good day to be inside and do a little review on these baits guys we got the scout junior here uh and we got the banger guggen squad banger awesome baits guys we're gonna go through these real quick show you some pros and cons of these and just give you our quick review on these guggen squad baits that we have real quick we were not sponsored or even sent these for free by Guggen. A lot of companies do send us lures, but these were not sent to us. We actually got these out of a mystery tackle box uh, that Colton got as gifts. These are awesome baits. The color is great. This is the sexy shad color. As you can see, the shad black mark, you know, as shad have. Um, real good coloring, real good reflection to these baits. Uh, just love the top shimmer that they have to them. It's like a glossy coat on them. Got the yellow line down the sides, and the top has like a, a blue-green color to it. They got the red marks underneath. Actually, this one's more of like an orange. It's got in the front. They're marked on the bottom with the, the depth. This is three to five feet on this one, and this is two to five feet, it says, on the square bill. So there's three different key things that these baits will do. As they are suspending jerk baits and crank baits. Basically, they got the balls inside of them, guys. If I hold on to them, you can actually hear. I got to hold the hook so the hooks don't rattle. But you can hear the little ball bearings inside of these. And it gives it that rattle through the water. And these had awesome action. Uh, I took some video clips of the action. I'll put up on here and show you guys. But awesome action. And those ball bearings really helped you know, as it went through the water to make a noise. So those ball bearings will help not only casting the lure out and give it a little more weight, but they'll also uh, keep it suspended down in the water column where you want it to be as you're reeling it in. So all those things combined, awesome bait, really, really, uh, you know, really effective um, as far as making that action trigger a bite. So we just caught so many fish on these lures. It was crazy. So many bass large mouth, small mouth, northern pike. We caught even smaller fish like, you know, jack perch we had hit on these. We had huge sunfish hit these. Um, and I'm trying to think of other things. I'm sure there was a few other species of fish we had hit these, but they absolutely trigger a bite. So sweet uh, action on them. As far as price, the banger crankbait down here is about $8.50 or so. Uh, the top one up here, the Scout Junior, was a little bit more money, about $10 to $11, I want to say. Um, I'll put a couple pictures up of these on Amazon and Shields. And the prices varied a little bit, but they were generally about the same, give or take. You know, the $8 and the $10, 10 to $11. So, awesome baits, guys. We really, really enjoyed using these baits. They definitely are some of our favorite baits that we've ever used i would say as far as casting for bass and bigger fish and you know overall they took a lot of abuse you can see some lines on here some of it is from fish but a lot of it actually is from the hooks just rotating up um you know if we hooked a fish on the back hook here and it wasn't hooked on the front hook this this front hook would actually swing up you can see how it matches up with the lines at the top here the same with the one on the back here it would swing up and scratch and there's nothing you can do about that that's going to happen with any bait you know, the more you use it, the more abuse you put it through. Um, it's, just, it's just definitely going to have some wear and tear on it. So even this one had the front with a lip crack on the side. It still works absolutely fine. Um, but the lip cracked. I'm not sure if they hit a rock or uh, just from a fish biting it or something like that. I'm really not sure what happened to it. I noticed it after fishing for a while. But still works just fine. Um, you know, th these ones were fine. Um, no damage to those ones. And uh, yeah, awesome baits, guys. I've never really used Guggen baits. Um, our whole family really hasn't used Guggen baits. We just started using some of them, but we absolutely will buy different Guggen baits in the future. Yeah, these were 
absolutely awesome. And uh, we look forward to using them some more. And we'll probably buy some more colors. This is the Sexy Shad color, like I was saying. We'll probably buy a few more colors uh, as we go. And um, if you go on the website, you can see how they got all the different colors. I think they got about 10 to 15 different colors. So uh, awesome, awesome baits. We had a lot of fun up here in Ontario, Canada using them, guys. Uh, we're going to be putting a lot more videos of different lure tests out soon. So keep watching. Guys, thanks a lot. If you like this kind of content, hit the like down below. It certainly helps the channel. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.